Hey guys, I'm back again. Uh, this video is going to be uh, uh, pertaining to some of the things you need to know about the analog cameras, these particular. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the power unit, kind of how to wire with Cat5 and all that stuff. So, uh, if you haven't already watched the, uh, the IP uh, megapixel camera video I did, I'd go ahead and watch that first. Might close a couple gaps, stuff I'm talking about. Um, these are the... Um, Analog cameras you guys got, um, the dome on these, you just kind of, you can see the grooves here, and the and they just kind of, you grab the dome, and it just pops off. You got the same little bubble encasing on the top of it. It's got two screws on each side. Kind of holding the camera too here, so bear with me. You just pull it off. And if you can see here, you've got the little service port dongle you just kind of pull it off take and you know plug it up and then you know plug in your little analog TV through BNC bam and on these you will actually see what the camera stand instead of the uh, IP megapixel where it kind of cuts it off with this one you will see the full picture so you can tweak it straight from the camera itself um, with just the little monitor um, let me show you guys this is kind of like the setup on the uh, DVR side of the house. You've got your actual DVR base. Get your drive storage. Your uh, power switch is right here. Um, your recording light. Um, and here's your uh, CD or DVD recordable drive. Just a couple things. And this is your operating system hard drive. So in each one of you guys' units, you're going to have one terabyte operating slash storage. And then you're going to have an additional... Um, terabyte for storage. You have quite a bit of storage on these things. This thing up here is your UTP data power transceiver. Um, it's actually going to act powering the cameras via Cat5 cable. So I'm going to turn this unit around here. Show you guys real quick. So this here, we're just doing regular, and the way that uh, we cable these is we just get uh, RJ45 connectors and just crimp it. And we use 568B, um, it's um, from pin 1 to pin 8, pin 1 would be uh, orange, white, and then orange, and then um, green, white, and then blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, uh, brown, white, brown, and it's your, your basic 568B cabling. And then you just plug into whatever port on this end. And then you're going to run this course straight to your camera. And then on the, um, the, the DVR end, you've got this little, do this little dongle with all of your BNC connections. So if you can see here, I've got, let's see if I can get close here. This is actually in port number one. And then these dongles are labeled. This one is number one. And I'm actually putting it in video in one. You just do that, and that's how you get your connection. And then at the camera side, what I've done here is you take the four twisted pairs. Um, the green-white is not used. You can either just uh, spin it around the shielding like I did here. Um, I just did this to show you guys. You want to make it a little tighter, but you uh, probably just go ahead and cut the green-white green, -white green off. Um, and then we're going to use our <clears throat> orange pairs for, I'm just going to kind of loosen that one. These orange pairs for our video. And this little unit here is called a ballon, and it comes in with it. And this is very important because you're going to have this BNC connector coming off the camera. You're going to connect the ballon into it, and actually, you, can, you probably can't see it, but these things are labeled um, positive, negative. And your positive is going to be your orange-white cable, and your negative is going to be your orange cable. And then for our power, got this little connector here, and it doesn't really matter which on this, which one you use. Um, I always just stick with, uh, sorry, I always just stick with this. The blues, the blue whites, the blue white and the blue is going to be my positive and my brown and brown white is going to be my uh, negative or ground and I always just stick to putting those 
the the blues in the left and then the browns in the right. That's just how I always stick with it. Of course, those just go back to the camera, and that's how a little bit of how you wire it. Um, just make sure that when you're cabling the camera up, don't plug it into the um, transceiver itself before you do that because you will have active live uh, cabling and you could damage the camera um, even though you know it is less than five volts but you could actually damage the camera by doing so so just wire it up to the camera plug it in um, in the office or whatever um, to the uh, UTP data video transceiver and then go ahead and hook up your monitor tweak your camera out after you mount it and then move on to the next camera um, and if you're hooking up the monitor or anything to the DVR itself, as you can see, you have a DVI and a VGA, and these are onboard. Of course, they put a card in these, so anything, anytime you put a card in a PC, it always takes precedence. So you've got a VGA and a DVI, so you always want to plug in whatever kind of connection into the actual um, card itself. Um, I guess that'll do it, guys. If you got any questions, once again, just let me know. Thanks.